today is the day we're gonna find out if we might have fixed the bass cat. So over the past couple of days, my buddy and I got in the garage and we rebuilt every single carburetor on the bass cat. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we've pretty much gone through everything with this motor and the majority of you guys said rebuilt the carburetors, this thing should fire up. So they are rebuilt. We're gonna get the bass cat out of the garage and see if this thing starts. If it starts, we're literally gonna hook it up to my truck take it to the lake and take it for a rip. But everybody thinks I gave up on this boat. I didn't. This motor's just being a pain in my butt and I'm, I'm contemplating getting rid of it or not. So we gotta move this jet ski. You guys are probably wondering, Jordan, where the heck did you get this jet ski? Well, I traded it for something and I don't know what to do with it. So let me know what kind of comments down below you guys think I should do with this jet ski. Let's get the bass cat out of the garage. Today's video is brought to you by Mach Wheel. Mach Wheel is a company that makes electric bikes that can be purchased online and shipped right to your door. This bike right here is the Tour Plus and I absolutely love it. It has an LCD screen in the middle and tires that allow you to go just about anywhere. This bike has gears like a normal mountain bike, but also has pedal assist and a throttle, making it super easy to ride fast and through rough terrain. Mach Wheel sent me out this bike specifically to make it easier for me to get to and from my tree stand during the hunting season. But for anybody who likes to ride bikes, you should definitely check them out. Thank you, Mach Wheel, for sponsoring this video. And if you guys would like a discount, check the link in my description below. Now back to the video. Okay, so we got it out. We're gonna get it hooked up to gas and water. I really hope this thing runs, dude. Like, if this thing runs, we're gonna have some fun today. But it, the fact that it's 40 degrees out, I don't think the two strokes gonna love the cold start. But in perfect world, she'll fire right up. But unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world. We'll try it without starter fluid, I'll wait. Ready? You're just jumping right into it today. She's gonna say no. <laughs> Get it in there though. All right, so we got a good idle going. Now you guys probably didn't see what we just did because we did it off camera. This sucker wouldn't start at all. But what I ended up doing was disconnecting the throttle cable and the shift linkage cable from the front of the intake cover. I think that's what it's called, not really sure. I'm gonna get this put back in, see if we can get it in gear, see if it kind of runs it like an idle. If, this, if we can keep this thing idling, I'm taking it right to the lake, so. All right guys, well, we got it running. I know I haven't showed much of what's going on. That's because I don't want to just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So we're taking the boat to the lake and we're going to see if it runs. About all we can do at this point. So I didn't really show you guys much footage of it running since I rebuilt the carburetors because the moment of truth is now. If this thing doesn't run again in the water, which it probably won't, <laughs> I think I got to take it to a mechanic or sell this thing. I'm just like, I'm trying to be optimistic here, but I just know this thing isn't gonna run, dude. Like, it's on and off with it running on all cylinders, but I just want one lap with this motor and then I'll get rid of it. I know you guys don't wanna hear that, but I'm probably gonna get rid of the motor on here. It just doesn't have much use to me. Give away, so, give away. Just give it away. 
Who wants a 150 GT? Give away, give away. Odds we get kicked out? <laughs> Odds we get kicked out? I'm gonna say nine out of 10, unless nobody's outside. You know, apparently permission doesn't mean Bologna around here. So, get in, get out. All right, plugs in, we're at the ramp. We're not gonna launch the boat just yet. We're just gonna get the engine in the water because we mainly just wanna try the motor under load. If for some reason it, it idles and it sits there, maybe we'll take it for a ride. All right, here we go. All right, folks, moment of truth. Here we go again. It's not gonna work under load, I know it. It's actually running. Oh my god. It's actually running. She's running. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can hear. It's probably windy as heck. I'm doing the best I can to keep the wind out of here. It's still misfiring like it was before. I don't think it's gonna go. I'm gonna put it in drive right now and you guys can listen to what it sounds like. Putting it in drive. It's going, but it's bogging. Put it in reverse. The shift link is great, but the throttle, not so much. It doesn't really run very good. So as far as the throttle goes, this is me pushing all the way down in reverse. Like that's everything it's got. If I really try to force it, it'll bog out. It's definitely bogging right now and then it dies. So it revs up good. I've been able to do one successful lap, but when it's in gear, it's very boggy. So it's definitely not running on all cylinders. A lot of you guys are probably like, dude, you shouldn't do that. I get it. This is as fast as we can go. It's not leaking gas. It's not doing any of that. So that's good. The good news is it's starting in the water. So I'm in reverse right now. Kind of just giving you guys the, the ordeal. It could be the fuel pump too. I know a lot of you guys said this isn't the right size fuel pump. So th this is this is like pretty much full throttle right here. That's all it's got. Just one loop de loop. Hey, we could we could go trolling. So many people are probably cringing right now because they're like, dude, you're gonna destroy that motor. But this is progress. We're learning. We're it is what it is. So this is it running. So we're gonna go ahead and put it away. I don't wanna be in a stranded situation, especially when I'm not on a public lake. I'm just lucky enough that 
some of the people here allowed me to actually put the boat in the water. So we're gonna get it back on the trailer and uh, we'll hook it back up at the house and let you guys know kind of what's going on. Alrighty guys, the boat is back in the garage and I have some questions for you. I need to figure out what we're gonna do with this right here, right now. I'll be honest with you guys, all my mechanic skills have been acquired in the making of this boat series. Literally the reason that I'm getting skills in this is because we've been doing this together through the comment section, which is crazy to think about. I have two theories now. Either one, I just don't know what's wrong with it and it's hiccuping, it's still not running on all cylinders. Or two, I'm not able to get the boat moving because the current fuel pump that's in there is not sufficient enough. So you guys let me know, does it need a bigger fuel pump? But now let's talk about what really needs to be said. Like, do I keep this motor or do I sell it? The reason I haven't posted in so long about this boat is because I looked around and was talking to some people on if I could get this thing in a shop and maybe get it rebuilt. So we kind of entered a huge standstill because I don't know if I want to keep it. I know you guys don't want to hear that, but I literally can't use it. I, I want this boat so bad. I'm in love with this boat. It is a dream boat of mine. I'm trying to get it fixed up. But where I live right now, because of my situation in life, there's not a single body of water in my area that allows me to have a 150 horsepower motor. Brad the Builder, whom I work for, if you guys don't know that yet, he is the only person that has a lake that I can put a boat on that can have a any horsepower motor. But the problem is the people at his lake, they're not about it. Even with him living there, even with me being good friends with him, they want to rip me apart every time I put the boat in that water. So this video that you watched, I didn't show it out of respect for the neighborhood, but three people came to the boat ramp and tried to kick me out. And I was able to get enough permission to do exactly what I did in this video. For now, do I sell this motor, take that money, buy a kicker, maybe like a, I don't know, 30 horsepower, 25 horsepower, and just putts around on the lakes around here that are five mile per hour so that I could fish. I know that sounds so dumb, it just sucks. I literally can't put this boat in the water and use it for what it's meant to be used for. I just need your guys' opinions. Like, what the heck do I do? I've been holding off on making the videos and I know you guys hate that, but I'm just in this weird scenario where I can't really take the boat anywhere because of the area I'm stuck in for work. It's not like me to sit down and have real conversations like this, but honestly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Appreciate every single one of you who watches. I'll make an update video after you guys leave comments. So see you soon.